Hey, this is Mike with Riding in the Ozarks, where we talk riding, rally, gear, and wrenching. Today's video, I'm going to tell you a story. It's about how my best friend wrecked my Harley. Hang around, I'll show you where it happened and how it happened. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you do YouTube, go out and click the subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified. If you would be interested in seeing a video series on me putting this bike back together and making it rideable, leave me a comment. It's something I'm thinking about doing. Thanks, and keep on riding. Back in 2001, I bought my first Harley, a 1994 Dyna Lowrider. Here are a few pictures this dealer sent me before I bought it. Two years later, I had it just the way I wanted it. Lean and clean with twisted spokes and lots of chrome. And here we have what it's looked like for the last 15 years. How did it get this way? Well, let me tell you the story. And when we're done, you can let me know if you'd like to see me make a video series on rebuilding it. So the story starts. My best friend had sold his bike. And then shortly afterwards, he got invited to go on a ride to a safety course about 100 miles away. I let him borrow my bike to go do the event. Passing it was going to save him some dough on insurance when he got another bike. He called me the morning of the ride to tell me he had wrecked my bike. He was laying in a ditch waiting for an ambulance to come pick him up. He had to have surgery for a broken leg and he really hasn't rode much since then. That's been over 15 years. A lot of people ask if we're still friends. We're still best friends. You can replace Harleys, but you can't replace best friends like him. The accident had happened on Highway 94 shortly before you get to Defiance. I'd never ridden that stretch of road, so when I got invited to go for a ride on that same piece of highway, I jumped at the opportunity to go see where my beloved Harley had taken his last ride. This stretch of Highway 94 runs along the north side of the Missouri River, through rolling hills and down into the river valley as it nears Defiance. I learned that this is a pretty popular road for motorcycling, probably due to the scenery and the curviness of the route. My buddy had told me that he didn't make it all the way through the first 90 in a double set of 90 degree turns. Apparently everyone who rides this road knows exactly where those turns are. Unfortunately, he was not familiar with the road either. In less than a minute, I'll show you where he wrecked my bike. Okay, notice the double 90, 20 mile an hour sign just in front of my bike? Yeah, we're almost there. He was used to riding crotch rockets, and he came into this first 90 a little hot, and my Dyna dragged the peg before he could get it leaned at enough angle to make the turn. He slid across the highway and took out the guardrail at the last post, destroying the front forks and front end and pinching his leg between the gas tank and handlebars, breaking the bone. After we came through the first turn, we had to come to a screeching slowdown as we got to the second turn and there were a group of riders bunched up here. If you'll notice on the pavement, you're about to see the black marks where a tire was sliding. And shortly after that, you should now see green chalk lines in the pavement, which are heading toward the guardrail. 
I'm assuming these are signs of a recent accident. What's really unusual is if you notice now, there is a guard post laying on the ground, but the guard rail is still intact. Right there. Well, we didn't see any signs of an actual bike wreck at this time or anyone hurt. Just a whole bunch of people stopped in the road where they shouldn't be. So we're assuming it either happened earlier, and these are all stragglers, or people who came by to see where that accident did happen, or maybe they came back to look for parts or personal items for the person who had wrecked. Anyway, it's obviously a dangerous corner that's taken out more than just my friend. So be careful out there. The rest of the ride to Defiance was uneventful. If you want to hang around, you can catch out some more footage. If you'd like to see me do a series of videos on rebuilding this Dyna, leave me a comment on YouTube or Facebook. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you do YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified when I drop new content. Thanks, and keep on riding.